In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take smart home lighting to the next level. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. And today we're going to check out another option in smart home lighting. In the past, I showed you how to use a SmartThings hub to connect to a box like the Zigbee or the Z-Wave technology. So as how that worked, you had the Wi-Fi router, you have the SmartThings hub, and then you have the thing to connect to, so a light switch, a plug, whatever. So you have all these different options to connect. Well, today I'm gonna show you a LifeX bulb, and as how this works is you have your router and then you have your bulb and they are able to connect directly together using your phone as the setup process. So LifeX is a company that has been around since 2012. They actually started on Kickstarter and they set out to make the best smart home light bulb. So the great thing about these bulbs compared to installing like a new light switch where that controls the whole light switch, this you actually have complete control over every single light bulb. So you can change out the color, you can set timers very easily all with these. So LifeX created this bulb that has up to 1,100 lumens. So that's very bright light compared to other of the smart home light companies. Also, these bulbs are estimated to last 20 years. So make sure you come back then to check out my review to see if they still lasted long. But with these, you can also uh, turn the lights to any different color, millions of colors, change the brightness really high, really low, as well as you can connect multiple together, change those scenes. And today I'm gonna show you how to set it up, show you some of the issues you may run into and how to fix those, and then how to control them all together. Okay, let's check out what's in the box. So this model, this is the A19 LifeX bulb. So here it is, comes with instruction manual, and that's just about it. There are different socket types. So depending on what country you live in, you may wanna check the link below to see if it's available for you. So now that we have our bulb, we just need a power source to plug it into any socket light bulb. You just have to decide where that's gonna be. Now let's get it set up. Installing the LifeX bulb is as easy as screwing it in the socket. Once you've done that, turn the bulb on. Now we are ready to pair with the LifeX app. You can get this on Android, iOS, or even Windows 10. Once the light bulb is on, it automatically broadcasts a Wi-Fi signal for the LifeX bulb. There are two ways that you can set up the LifeX bulb. First, you can go into the Wi-Fi settings of your phone and you can select the LifeX bulb that will pop up here on the network. And if you don't see it, just go into the LifeX application and that will pop up. The first time you go into the app, you will want to create an account so that it links your light bulbs to your account and they are locked and nobody else can sign them up under their account. So that's the first step to adding your light bulb to the LifeX application. If you have not added any bulbs, this will be a blank black screen. But here I wanna click on the plus and now I wanna connect a new light. Here you can also create a new scene or a new schedule. So I'm gonna select new light and it will automatically find any of the LifeX bulbs that I have close by that are ready to connect to the network. If for any reason you cannot find the LifeX bulb or you have trouble setting this up, you can factory reset the light bulb by turning it on and off five times. You will know that you have successfully factory reset the bulb when it flashes multiple colors. Now let's try adding it again in the application. Now that the light is on, I click the plus, say connect new light. It is then going to find any light bulbs that are nearby. Here it found the LifeX A19. I'm gonna select on it and I had some struggles when I tried to pair this first time. For whatever reason, it would not work with my Bristow 5G network. So I'm going to select the drop down here and choose a different network. And I'm just gonna choose Bristow. This is the 2.4 gigahertz network that I have. Here you wanna type in your network password. Then you can name your light. So if we click this arrow, we have a few other options. Here I can set the location. So I want it to be in my home. Here I can set a group. So you can add a new group. Here I've created a studio group. And then if I wanna change the light name, let's say this is my first LifeX light. So I'm just gonna name it LifeX one click OK and then here I'm going to say OK and that will begin connecting the light bulb to my network. So as how this works is it's sending details to the light bulb 
then my phone is going to disconnect and connect directly to the light bulb, add the Wi-Fi network connection settings, then it's going to disconnect. And during all that, it updates the bulb as well. And then finally, it will connect directly to my Wi-Fi network. So I don't need that hub or anything between the light bulb and the Wi-Fi. And then I can control it with my phone at any time. So here, the light has now been added. I have Life X1 here. So navigating this app, if I want all the lights in my house to turn off, I can just click the My Home and that will turn off all the lights. If I just want the Life X1 bulb to turn on, I just select it once and it turns on. If I wanna change the settings of just this light bulb, I just click right here on Life X1. Here I have the full color wheel that is available. So I can choose how much color compared to white and color by pulling this up and down. You can see now it goes red. Um, if I wanna change the color, I just turn this around and you can see the colors change here. Really nice. And right now the bulb is on 100% brightness. So let's say we go to a color we like. Um, I can turn down the brightness just by swiping down the middle here. That is how I do the brightness controls and that is the lowest setting that it will go to. And then we can go all the way up again. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off some of the other lights and look at how this looks. So here again, go through the different colors. It changes over there and you can see the actual color degree it's at and then up and down changes the white balance compared to the full color. So now let's check out what else we can do. Down here on the bottom, we have colors as well as white. Here I can change the different Kelvin scale. So here it is ultra warm and then I have blue ice and then I can go around and see all the different colors that it has there. Next we have theme. So if you have multiple lights set up, this is really great because they work off of each other. So here um, the first theme is Independence Day. When I select that, it changes to cool colors, makes it very bright. I can go through these and uh, here I have mellow, intense, and you can just play around with these and see what you like. Um, there's all kinds of pastel colors, Halloween, it adds in really bright colors. And then one of the cool things that you can do is over here in the effects. So with the effects, I can add extra things to the color. So if I wanna do spooky, is what this does is it will dim the light and kind of flicker it and then it will go black and then brighten back up again. So if I click on the spooky, I can choose the intensity of the flicker as well as the blackout and I can reset those to default at any time. Then let's say you can see it going on over there. Let's say I just wanna do the flicker, I select flicker, it will do that. Again, intensity all right here, the speed, the amount. I can change it to random colors, so it's just going through the color wheel. Here we can have it animate whatever theme is going on. The music visualizer will take the microphone from my phone and then interact with whatever it hears. So if you're playing music, it will go based off that. Right now it's hearing my voice and it is changing the color based on that. Here we have pastel colors that we can go through. We can have it just slowly color cycle, so it will go through all its different colors. And then here we have the strobe. And if you want to use the strobe, um, just because some people may experience seizures with the strobe, you do have to hold this down. So like this, I'm gonna hold it down and you can see it flash like that. So that is the effects. Now let's go back here to the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more light to the mix. I'm gonna go in hit add new light, make sure it's on my 2.4 gigahertz network, change the name. If you have any problems connecting the LifeX bulb to your network, check LifeX.com as they have a full troubleshooting guide. A few tips again is to make sure you're connected to your 2.4 network. Okay, so now I have three lights connected here. I can show you here if I turn it on and off. When you turn a bulb a color, say you don't have your phone with you and then you wanna turn that light on and off, you can still do that just by using the manual mode and that will redo the color that was previously on. So now if I want all the bulbs in the room to turn off, I can just click my home and that will turn them all off at once. I'm gonna turn these back on. Here, if I want to control individual bulbs, I can do that just by going here. 
But if I want to control all of them to be the same color, I can do that as well. So here I can do that when I go under the My Home Settings. Then we can turn the brightness down, change it up. So then let's go into My Home and then we're gonna go to Themes. So here, let's say I want to do this exciting theme. So here there's a bit different colors that you can see. In each of them, I have this other light down here on the bottom that you can see as well that's changing the background there. Let's do a soothing. And of course, if you have lamp shades on these, they would be a little bit better. You don't really wanna stare right at these lights. Here we can do dream. So really fun, makes it really easy to use. So when we go into the effects, I can do the flicker and then we can watch all those flicker at once. I can do the music visualizer. And so when I speak, all of them are speaking at once. Now, if we go back, one of the great things about these smart bulbs is they will also connect with many other services. So here you can connect it with Nest, you can connect it with IFTTT, Google Assistant, Smart Things, Amazon Alexa, Logitech, and more. So make sure you check those out. If you have any of those other services, this is well worth checking out and stay tuned for my next video. Where I'm going to show you how to connect these to the Google Assistant. One of the cool things that Nest will do, so if it knows that you're away, it will automatically adjust the light so that people think that you're home even when you're not, which is really cool. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about the LifeX bulbs. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if this is your first time here, I'd love you to click the subscribe button so that I can continue to help bring tech solutions to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.